Tonight I am just filming a productive, healthy night in my life. I currently am sitting outside. I have a lot of work I need to get done. And then I have some few errands I need to run, some other things I want to do for the evening. And so that is my plan. I'm just kind of trying to get caught up on work and other things before the week really gets started. It is Monday, so it's the perfect day to kind of get everything ready. I had a really fun weekend, um, but I didn't get a whole lot done because I was hanging out with friends all weekend. So I'm just kind of trying to play catch up this afternoon. And so I'm out here. It's really pretty out here, super nice. Um, just working on my computer. I have my like work computer over here and my personal computer. I have so many cords and things. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna sit out here probably for a few hours and do some of this. And then I think I'm gonna head out with Brendan and some of his friends to go work out. And then we'll see what happens after that. I'm not really sure. But today is just about being healthy and productive and feeling good and accomplished. And so that is what I'm doing. And I will show you guys what I do next and I'll see you in a bit. This is my master to-do list of all the things I need to get done for my orientation job. And it's honestly just super overwhelming. I've honestly been really bad. I've been putting this off for a while, like working on this stuff. And it was really stupid of me. And now I'm just like extra stressed out and it's, it's totally unnecessary and I could have dealt with it. But I didn't because I was doing other things. So don't put off work and don't procrastinate because it's just going to make it worse when you go to do it. Like when you actually have to go do it. So just stay on top of your work and I personally have a really hard time saying no to doing social things when I have other things I should be doing but um, it's really important that like you know when to prioritize and what to prioritize I think it's extra hard for me this summer just because I'm working multiple jobs so I work from like 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. five days a week and then the last thing I want to do is come home and do more work for like another job and then on the weekends like I want to go do my own thing but you have to be able to like sit down and focus and get things done because then it'll only allow you to enjoy your free time more because you won't have stuff hanging over your head and you won't be stressed out so that's my little rant about why you shouldn't procrastinate okay i'm going upstairs to get a sweatshirt because it actually got kind of cold out brendan does really weird things in his sleep and he sleepwalks and so one time they were all camping and they're in a tent and he woke up in the middle of the night and like looked over and was like Andrew, what's going on? And now it's this huge joke. And so the boys went today and got these hoodies and they say, what's going on? And I've been just waiting all day for it to get, can I get this here? Waiting all day for it to get cold enough for me to put this sweatshirt on because I'm just so excited. And they like surprised me with it today. But I'm so, so excited about it. It's so funny. Look at <laughs> Oh gosh. Brendan and his friends have so many inside jokes and it's so fun to hang out with them and be around them and this is just like the perfect example but I'm super stoked because I love hoodies and this one's really comfy and it's black and I pretty much two hours later and we're still out here thriving it has not been two it's been two hours, it's been two hours. Kylie it. is practicing her typing <laughs> because she doesn't know how to properly type. Yeah, and so she says that she wants to be able to type better by the time she goes to college. And I'm just feeling incredibly overwhelmed. <laughs> I'm like delirious right now, Kylie. Oh my God, I've been working since 7.30 this morning you and it's that, almost like, 7.30 PM. Harmony, so Like I'm so perfect, like I know when I don't know Like I deserve the shit that you put me through I don't really do anything bad You're just looking for a reason, get mad Why you out here tweaking like that? Why do you go looking for something? No, I can't even say Why do I get caught up in all of your oh, stupid I'm take hold up, help. All you do is no, why did you move the strap back? What do you mean? I didn't touch it. Oh, oh okay. Jesus. Sorry, I was tripping out. Okay, we're going to the grocery store really quick so we can get stuff to make dinner and then some stuff for breakfast in the morning because we don't really have yeah. much food at the house. Dinner at 9 o'clock. Yeah, Woo! it's a I'm not late eating anything dinner. but leftover Chinese food this morning. That's so bad for you. This lighting is atrocious. Can you grab, can you grab a basket? 
Every single time we go to the grocery store, Brendan oh, every time. messes this up every time and he always has to call for help. Onion. Which onion is this? It's just a sweet onion. A sweet? There you go, yellow onion. Spanish onions. <laughs> shower I was so sweaty um, but I went up and showered while the rice is cooking and so I'm gonna go downstairs now and I think dinner should be ready for soon I just feel so much better All right Jake what are we having do you even know what we're having <laughs> we're having coconut rice and then we just made a bunch of veggies and it kind of has like a little bit of soy sauce but this like peanut sauce that we really like here I'll show you the kind all of us are obsessed with peanut sauce, and so this is the kind that we eat. It's a little bit spicy, but it's really, really good. Steamy. <laughs> Steamy. Oh, the coconut. Steamy twist. thick. It smells so coconutty. Yes. I think I'm pretty on it right now. Yeah. I feel like I didn't miss much. Entertaining chapter of our relationship. I'm so tired. Very tired. Yeah, I'm just gonna make some tea really quick. Oh my god. I can't sleep if I don't have tea at night. Every night I switch between detox tea and then like this ginger turmeric one. Turmeric? Is it turmeric or turmeric? Do you know? I don't know how to say it. But I switched between those two because you're kind of not supposed to have a detox tea every night. It's not very good for your body. The turmeric, whatever, one is just really good for you in general over these lights. Where are the lights, babe? Over here? I think that having a night routine and stuff that you do every night is super important because it just gives you consistency and like something to look forward to. So for me, one of those things that I always do is have tea and then I always watch a David Dobrik vlog before bed. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And go check out Brendan's channel because he's been posting and he has a bunch of other videos from them making these sweatshirts. So go check that out and I will see you guys later. Bye.